What's up guys, my name is Matt and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a banner like mine. You might have seen a couple of days ago if you haven't checked already. I've got a new banner on my channel, it looks absolutely amazing. I spent like 5 hours on it. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a banner like that. Let's get straight into it. So as you guys can see we are now in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and get a channel art template. So let's just move that straight into there. So what I normally like to do before anything else for banners, I always like to draw two rectangles of what you want to actually go with here. So we've got a rectangle one, rectangle two, and there you go. You've got you've got the rectangles, which is pretty good. I always like to do that because then you've got actually working space. So what I'm going to go do right now, I'm going to go ahead and find a picture of me. So here we go. Here's a here's a picture of me. Let's let's just add this into this into this banner right here. So once it once it loads up, here we go. This is the picture of me. Look at look at all this mess in here. This is out of order. But what we want to do now is we want to go ahead. Like this isn't the best picture of me. I'm not going to deny that. What we want to go do now is we want to go get the pencil. So if you're doing sort of banner like this where you've got yourself in an image and you've got it yourself in a banner, I'm going to go ahead and add the pencil. So what I want to do is just casually click up here. Keep on going, keep on going, and I just want to go around me. I'm going to be doing a rough copy in today's tutorial because I don't want to make it a dead long video. You've got to be very accurate. I'm just doing a rush copy, so when you're actually trying to go ahead and cut this thing out, you want to take a little bit of time on it. So I've got this all cut out. I'm going to go ahead and join it up, and then what I'm going to do to left click, I'm going to left click, and then I'm going to say make selection. So it should bring up this little pop-up box right here. So you want to press OK, and then once that is like that, you want to press on your keyboard Control C and then V to actually cut it out. So you see I've got like this layer here, if I just move that, I'm gonna, no, we're actually using a pen tool there. If I go ahead and get on my cursor, you've actually got one image of that. So it isn't the best image. I'm gonna go around it with the eraser in a minute, um, but I just wanna delete that because we don't leave, we actually don't need that right anymore. Um, so now we've got that. So it's a pretty bad, bad cut out to be fair, like I haven't took a lot of time on it. So what we wanna do now, because that's obviously not gonna fit on the banner, what we wanna go do is Control T, and then scale it down. So we've got that there. So what I'm gonna be doing for that, I'm just gonna make sure that um, I've got this here. And I wanna make sure that half the image is actually showing. So we've got that. And then we wanna put it behind the rectangle. So that's what it's gonna look like on the banner. You can see like I look dead pale on here. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on this, go to blending options. And we want to go to, let me see, we want to go to satin and inner glow. So obviously you don't want that, you, you really don't want that. I'm thinking a brown sort of colour so you can actually show that you're a little bit tan. So now you've got that, so we want to reduce the satin a little bit because now we've got that overlay. You look a lot more tan, so you, so you actually look a lot more uh, presentable. Got like a folder where I keep all my thumbnails and this, this is just what it is. I've got loads of thumbnails. I've got thumbnails from like a year ago or nearly a year ago. So what I'm going to do, go do now is I'm going to go add a few thumbnails in the background to make it look um, obviously like I've done some videos. So um, the ice bath challenge. So we've got the ice bath challenge over here. So obviously we want to set that below layer one. So now you've got this sort of um, this this design over here going. You've got it quite quite nice, but you don't want to really make that overlap and you want to make sure that everything is in line properly. So now we've got that. I mean, all the thumbnails are pretty much, I guess you could say in proportion. You want to make sure that that goes back a little bit further so you can put the Wembley thumbnail in there. So once we've got this, what we want to do is we want to make sure that most of the images overlap. And that's like really a big part of this. You want to make sure that they overlap in a certain way. So when we go down here, we've got obviously the worst drink thumbnail. If you haven't seen that video, it's a very funny video. Um, I think I made it about two months ago. Anyway, we want to go to the eraser tool and we want to make the hardness to 0%. So once we've done that, press OK, rasterize the image. We basically sort of blended these in a little bit. I think that one needs moving down as well. We want to make that sure that that's moved down. Um, so it's not odd or anything. So that is sort of like blended in. Obviously the Wembley thumbnail is also blended in. So we use exactly the same again. We rasterize the image and we go down like that. We want to make sure that no really sharp edges are like quite, quite clear. So now if we zoom out, I mean obviously you need to you need to make sure that that's all good to go. If we zoom out now, 
that is what we're left with. This this is all looking nice, but we can make it e look even better. To speed it up a little bit, I'm going to use my own style. So if I just click on that, that'll take it to that straight away. If we go to the worst drink thumbnail, click on that straight away. And if some of these, if, if one of these is darker than the other, then you can actually uh, increase the brightness. Uh, we want to go to the Ice Bath Challenge. Let's click on that. That's easy. And then we want to go to the Florian Mice review and we want to go like that. So now we've got like this, this whole thing going right here. We want to make sure that Wembley, because Wembley sticks out, it's a lot brighter. You want to make sure that the satin is increased a little bit more so that it blends in a lot more. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Now, one thing I want to say before we actually go ahead and make this text a lot better, we want to try and make... Uh, obviously you've got this here we want to put it at like a slight slant because that makes it look even more nicer one thing i like to do though and this is what i've done for my banner previously is i've gone for the color picker tool which is right here i've color picked the type, the actual color of my shirt and then i've gone ahead and uh, made the text that color so it's right up here the color so the color is pretty much the same color as my my, my shirt which is which really contrasts quite nicely if we're going to my downloads it should be a tempest 4k gfx pack and once that opens up it should have tons of grunge packs and tons of tons of textures which one should we pick i think we ought to pick let's let's pick this one let's pick this one so we just all we want to do is basically import it into this into this folder right here into the actual banner we want to make sure we want to rasterize the text first what's called rasterizing rasterize layer type um and then we want to go for the grunge and we want to go uh clipping mask i think it is create clipping mask so now that will actually cling on to the text so what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and make this i don't know uh if you if you use control i think it's control u you can actually control all the different brightness and all this sort of stuff so then it makes it more clear duplicate it again you can even go with that probably duplicate it again so that's making it look very very nice so what we want to go do now is i'm controlling and clicking and then i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this these layers right here so once this is done i'm going to move that over to the rest of the text so that looks really nice right now look at that that is looking that is looking pretty good so that is pretty much the banner that is pretty much the basics but i'm going to show you guys a few tips on how to actually make this banner look even nicer than it actually is so the text is a massive part of the banner this i can't stress this enough you want to go to make the text in my opinion look even nice nicer you want to go to outer glow and you want to make sure that it, the opacity is up to 100% and then you want to make sure the spread is up to 100% as well and you want to sort of increase the size to about the 20 mark probably even 16 now for the sake of this video i'm going to make it 20 21 so then we want to reduce the opacity so that is going to be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to make if you like these videos and tutorials i will do a part two on this can we maybe smash 20 likes i will do a part two on actually making banners and i probably will do a better one than this obviously this is sort of like a mock-up of of my banner that i've got now but still, I've still got some more images. I've still got some more ideas. So if you want to see another part two to this, definitely smash 20 likes. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.